Say Mon Mon. It's me, Shakes. You know, the guy who's always sticking his nose in other people's business. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, brilliant. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> Not you, Chuck T. Jefferson. My Technovision glasses. The glasses you are wearing are the perfect training device. I can load any player from any team into your field of vision. I've even got managers, reporters, all kinds of stuff. I don't know, Tony. These things make me feel like I'm going crazy. Oh, wait. There we go. Better? Hi, Tony. Can I try the movie glasses? John J. Johnson, Jr., you're supposed to be sorting out the vermin problem. You don't need to worry about the skunk, Tony. I've taken care of it. The stink bag is finally gone? You'll never see that skunk again. <laughs> you give me those glasses right now! <laughs> Technovision isn't a toy. It should only be used for training. <gasps> or sabotage. <laughs> Say hello to the biggest star in Hollywood. <laughs> no, really, I must be like 20 feet high. El Matador, you've scored 10 goals in four games. What is the secret to your phenomenal form? Well, Lena, when I look my best, I play my best. The shiny teeth. The giant head. The perfect hair. The incredible self-indulgence. And the finishing touch. My custom design, super expensive, one of a kind glasses. Ooh. Ouch! Nobody touches the glasses. They're so copyright protected, if I tried to make another one, I'd have to sue myself. Hurry up, El Matador. Coach is waiting. You can't rush perfection. Uh, <laughs> dude takes more showers in a day than I do in a month. Uh, well, it's working. Celebrity Stalker magazine says El Matador is the hottest player in the Super League right now. But they were handing them out for free on the plane. Uh, no, they weren't. We got here on the striker jet. <laughs> <laughs> El Matador is the best. He is the one, all fans adore. My redesign worked. It's the perfect replica. With a bit of Technovision magic, of course. Huh? Oh. I'm looking great. <laughs> Gonna score lots of goals today. <laughs> Ew, a skunk. I'm getting out of here. The skunk. Mm -hmm. It stinks! When I get my hands on you, I'm gonna... Drap. Hmm, my glasses feel kinda weird. Did you guys mess with them? Nobody touched your glasses, man. Yeah, don't want to get sued. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's get down to business. First of all, we'll map up a defensive response. Tony? We'll expecting tight defense around the goal. Nope, but there. A staggered defense. Tony even lets super strikers use the movie glasses. Hmm. If I can't use the movie glasses, maybe I can make the movies. <laughs> it's so time! Technicali have been very good in attack, overwhelming the opposition with their numbers. But pushing all their men forward leaves the defense exposed. Huh. And we got just the man to make them pay. Right, El Matador? Huh? Mm -hmm. El Matador! I swear something feels weird about my glasses. <sighs> Let's do it, guys. We gotta be prepared for Technicali. Yeah, who knows what that madman Tony Verne is up to. Day one. It stinks so much. I have stuffed El Matador's socks into my nose to block out the smell. It isn't working. I got it! Huh? Eh? No, you 
Feder und Ohr! Hmm. What should I do for my first scene? El Matador! Can I get a photo? Uh, who do you work for? I only appear in A-list magazines. Uh, um... Ponytail magazine? Oh, of course. Uh, just make sure you get my good side. And cut. What a scene. John J. Johnson <gasps> Jr., what are you doing in my lab? Oh, nothing, Tony. Ew. What's that smell? I don't want to talk about it. I'm out of door. I was wide open. Sorry, Shakes. I was going to pass, but that reporter wanted my photo for the cover of Ponytail Magazine. Uh, <laughs> what reporter, dude? That guy, right over... Huh? He must have already got what he needed. I am very photogenic. Anyway, a good practice, guys. I'm gonna go take a shower. Did you guys see a reporter? <laughs> According to Pointless Gossip magazine, El Matador is showing all the signs of a celebrity breakdown. I bought it for a friend, okay? Oh, yeah? What's his name? Never mind that. It says that the clear signs of a complete mental breakdown are paranoia. He was convinced someone touched his glasses. Hallucinations. Like the invisible reporter from Ponytail Magazine. <laughs> Anything else we should be looking out for, man? An urge to trash hotel rooms. <gasps> How about locker rooms? What? I'm sorry, El Matador, but this is for your own good. What is? A celebrity intervention! Get him! Uh, how many times do I have to tell you guys? Some mysterious intruder messed with my glasses, a skunk trashed our locker room, and the reporter took my photo at practice. Uh, denial is a clear sign of a celebrity breakdown. You guys are just jealous that they chose me for the cover of Ponytail Magazine. I looked it up. There's no such thing as Ponytail Magazine. Yeah, dude. Ponytails went out of fashion in the 80s. How dare you? Uh, Shakes, you believe me, right? Uh, I... I uh... Fine. I'm going to go hang out with someone who knows what it's like to be a big superstar. <laughs> all right, all right, we get it. That went well. <sighs> I'll go speak to him. Well, hurry up or you'll lose him, Shakes. Well, not unless you know the big superstar he's going to hang with. But we are in Hollywood. That could be anyone. Don't worry. There's only one big superstar El Matador listens to. Oh, El Matador. It's tough being a misunderstood, rich, incredibly handsome soccer star. I know how you feel. Huh? John J. Johnson Jr.? Tony never trusts me to do anything. But he's not here. <laughs> but I still believe in myself, no matter what anyone says. Uh, do you always go out dressed like that? Uh... The 80s are back. Spandex is totally fashionable. <laughs> you should tell that to Norshaw. My ponytail is so in. Congratulations on making the cover of Ponytail Magazine, by the way. Why, thank you. Hey, how did you know about that? Uh, news travels fast in Hollywood. OK, this is my big chance. What do all good movies need? <gasps> Drama. El Matador, what's wrong? Uh, my teammates think I've gone crazy. Say, do you hear that music? Mm-mm. Drama. Check. What else? Action! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, ninjas! What are we gonna do, John J. Johnson Jr.? What do you want? We are jealous of your awesome ponytail. Give it to us or face the consequences. You want my ponytail? Come and get it. So be it. Bro, we're bros, and bros shouldn't fight. Right, bro? Nah, lame. El Matador, we're all just worried about you. 
come back. <sighs> Sound like his mom. El Matador, being in a team is all about trust. What I'm trying to say is, I don't think you're... Huh? Crazy. El Matador? Oh, God. This isn't over, El Matador. Your boy there will be ours. <laughs> Shakes, and those evil ninjas were after my ponytail. El Matador, I think you should look at this. Huh? <laughs> oh, man. Klaus was right. I am having a celebrity breakdown. A game against Technicali. It's tomorrow. Oh, Shakes, what am I gonna do? Maybe you need to sit it out? You wouldn't tell Coach, would you? Dude. We have a chance to beat Technicali on their home turf. Come on! I'm your friendly, super reliable gold getting strike partner. I'll be fine. <laughs> Match day at the hub. And it looks like Technicali are sticking to their attacking formation. With El Matador in red hot form, they'll be torn apart. So, Shakes, dude. What happened with the Lord of the Shower Rings over there? Yeah, is he seeing things all way? Is he in the right frame of mind to play? Well... Hey, guys! Yeah? What are you talking about? Yeah, uh, like I was saying, he's totally fine. Day two. The smell isn't going away. But I must remain focused on my mission. All right, El Matador, it's showtime! And we're off. <laughs> Cheeky shakes! And highly effective. <laughs> El Matador has an early opportunity here. He's clean through. Huh? Where'd you guys come from? From your worst nightmare. Shakes, back to you! Instead of shooting, El Matador passes to a marked man! It works! I'm a genius! I was wide open, dude. Yeah, I know. Oh. Oh, trouble here for Super Strikers. Electrifying stuff from the Technicali boys. Technicali achieve on their first try what El Matadors failed to do the entire half. Dude, you're not handling the pressure. I gotta tell Coach about... Ah, whatever, Shakes. It's like John J. Johnson Jr. said. I gotta believe in myself no matter what anyone says. Wait, when did you see him? Uh, last night, just before the ninja attack. He wasn't real, was he? <laughs> but if El Matador wasn't lying about the skull, then... John, who's on the cover of this month's Ponytail Magazine? El Matador, obviously. Uh, I mean, i uh, never heard of Ponytail Magazine. Uh, gotta go. Bye. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Shakes knows about Technovision. Oh, I gotta fix this. Hey, I thought those glasses were only meant for training. Tony? Why did Tony ask us to meet him here? Tony! Oh. Oh, yes! Much better! What have you done? It wasn't me. It was the skunk. I'm talking about El Matador's glasses. I thought you might need a little help with, uh, you know, winning. Oh. oh, quit moaning. You have a goal. But I want goals fair and square. Now listen, El Matador is being subbed as we speak. Hang back, defend your lead, and the game is yours. Any questions? Yeah. What's that smell? Oh. 
I think it's obvious that one of us has a serious problem. All right, I admit it. I am addicted to the gossip magazines. I need help. You were talking about El Matador, weren't you? Guys, I just saw a skunk. Uh, good for you, dude. Don't you get it? It means El Matador wasn't lying about trashing the locker room. And that's not all. John J. Johnson Jr. knows about Ponytail Magazine. How would he know about a made-up magazine? Because he's the one who made it up. So what is going on? Whoa, whoa, easy there, brother. <gasps> oh, God. Okay, keep cool, John J. Johnson Jr. You gotta get to El Matador before Shakes does. Hmm? Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, El Matador. Uh, listen, buddy, I'm not feeling that good, so when I come back into the change room in a moment, I may be acting a little crazy. Ha! You know the rules, Shanks. Uh, I'm calling my law. Oh. <laughs> hmm? So you just ignore everything I say. We need you on the field for the second half. Okay, he's gone. Huh? Tony Vern swapped your glasses for some kind of VR projection goggles. I... I'm not crazy. Can you play without your glasses? No, coach. Then I'm gonna have to sub you. Uh, Tony Vern sabotaged my game and made you guys think I was crazy and worst of all, touched my glasses. Uh, you gotta let me get back at him. Hmm. The two sides emerge for the second half, and first out is El Matador. I'm surprised he's on the field at all after his terrible first half performance. They didn't sub him? Oh, well, El Matador, you're about to find out what this baby can really do. El Matador on the attack. Can he find some form in the second half? Ha! I'd be surprised if he can even find the ball the way he's been playing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you got past two players. Here's ten more! What's he gonna do, people? He's gonna pass to himself. Oh! Technovision is meant to make him worse, not better! How about some special effects to liven things up? <laughs> Touches the glasses. Tail magazine. <laughs> That'll do. Back to me. <laughs> Eat this, Fido. Amazing. Unbelievable. than being crazy. <laughs> Sorry we didn't trust you, man. Uh, don't worry. It was Tony's fault. Are we going to teach that sucker a lesson? Well, Spiteful Teen Magazine has an article on the 10 best ways to get back at an ex-BFF. Don't worry, guys. I already know how to make Tony pay. 
Get your high-tech augmented reality technoglasses right here! Uh, at least I can make my money back on these stupid things. <laughs> Boss, I found some people interested in the movie glasses. Ah, welcome, welcome. And who do I have the pleasure of doing business with? El Matador's lawyers. We're here to talk to you about copyright infringement. <gasps> what is that smell? I <sighs> don't want to talk about it.